prepared from a child by his heavenly father. Thinking of the time when Jesus was sharing, it was his father who had taught him what to teach and speak. It caused me to consider his very earliest days of becoming son of man on the earth and the method used in his education and who was involved in guiding and teaching Jesus. One of my favorite Bible revelations of the Lord Jesus in his earliest period on earth as the son of man is at the time when he as a child at the age of 12 years of age was no doubt enthusiastically involved with men of wisdom sitting in the temple in the midst of those recognized as scripture knowledgeable men. The Lord Jesus at the age of 12 years was also reported to have amazed those doctors in the temple whom he had no doubt with great zeal of enthusiasm was involved with debating with questions and answers. As it was described in the word of God, Jesus left those wise men in the temple in awe of his ability and deeply discuss the things of God as they were reported to have been left with astonishment at his answers and revealed understanding we are reminded his heavenly father was with him from his mother's womb and taught him. Luke 2, 42 through 52. And when he was 12 years old, he went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And he went down with them, and came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings, in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and favor with God and man. John seven sixteen, Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. John twelve forty nine, For I have not spoken of myself but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. Humble, selfless submission. The Lord Jesus being about his heavenly Father's business brought continuous merciful and righteous actions into our hopelessly sin-ridden world for us to trust become familiar with, to glory in, and obediently follow. Jesus provided a full demonstration of humble, 
selfless submission to the will, honor, and glory of his Heavenly Father being a perfect example for us. To benefit us daily, we always have from the Lord God the needed life-giving divine power to fill our heart, minds, and spirits, which is the Word of God and the Holy Spirit. As we in knowledge focus on the Lord Jesus, humble life expression, and as we commit ourselves to the love and obedience, follow his example in our dark, needy, selfish world. We, by the Lord Jesus guidance, recognize our need to unceasingly abide submissively in the present and righteous posture of the Lord Jesus. Just as the Lord Jesus had an assignment to be accomplished here on this earth, we are reminded that we also have been called upon to follow the example which the Lord Jesus set in practical action before us. In serving our Heavenly Father and Savior Lord Jesus, we by His divine power purposely minister for others, redemptive salvation. In devoted service to our Lord Jesus and to give honor, praise, and glory to our loving Heavenly Father, we, by the Lord's mercy, seek always to live humbly acknowledging Him. 2 Corinthians 6.16 And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God and they shall be my people.